Hey everyone, welcome to Spring Boot Time Leap Crew Database Project Part 3. In Part 1, we have created and set up Spring Boot project in Eclipse STS ID and we have also set up database. In Part 2, we have implemented end to end list and fly feature. This is the Part 3. We are going to implement step by step add and fly feature. Alright, let's get started. So, let me quickly show you the list and fly feature. I'm gonna run the application now. So look at here, Spring Boot project is up and running on embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. So here I just refresh the link localhost 8080. So look at here, we just listed out all the employees from the employee database table. Now what we'll do, we'll add a button here through which we can able to add a new employee all right let's let's first uh, dev, you know complete uh, uh, backend part so first what we'll do we'll create a method so in a repository we can get a you know save uh, method but uh, in a service layer we need to create a save employee method right so here i'm gonna call save employee method and here we need to pass the employee object right as a method argument and you know employee service impl let's override this method and here just call employee repository and then save employee here all right great now we have created a save employee method which will save a employee to the database now what we'll do we'll add a link to the index.html page so look at here uh, this is the code basically which displays a list of employees and here we're gonna create a link this is actually a hyperlink th colon href so look at here this is the time leap uh, directive and here we provide at this is new employee Form, something like this okay a uh, new employee form let's call it as a show new employee form okay and here uh, let's say add employee okay so look at here if you mouse over on this tag it says undefined attribute name okay so in order to ignore this what we can do here is we can just add time leap uh, link here okay now you can see it will identify this attribute now okay localhost 8080 look at here we have just added a link so let me add some bootstrap css so that we can make this hyperlink as a button so first thing you need to do is just copy uh, we have already added bootstrap you know uh, link here bootstrap css link and now what we'll do we'll just add here okay i have just added bootstrap css here now let's refresh yeah, look at here add employee button okay now it looks good now what we'll do we'll implement a method handler to handle this request let's copy this url and let's go to the employee controller and here we'll write the method handler to handle show employee form request okay uh, public and then string 
let's give a method name as show new employee form and this is get mapping and here just provide this url here and we are going to return some model so let's get a model object and here we create an employee object okay so let me add a comment here so we create a model attribute to bind a form data so here we, what i will do i will get add a employee here and then i will just assign employee to employee so this is the key and this is the value and we use this model to bind form data that we will see a bit later now let's go and let's return a view that is new underscore employee so this is the thumblet template name that we will create a bit later okay now what we have done we have created a method handler which will handle show new employee form uh, request so this request comes from index.html page here okay now what we'll do we'll create a time lip template from which we can add a new employee so right click on templates folder new and then other and here choose a demo file let's name it as new underscore employee dot html now let's design this page now just replace the title with employee management management system and here let's create a div all right and we will be using bootstrap css right for that what we can do is we can just copy from the index.html so this is the cdn link for bootstrap css file let's add it inside a header okay and here what we'll do we'll add h1 so this is our project name right employee management system and then here add horizontal line here okay and then h2 so let's call it as save employee all right now what we'll do we'll create a form form so this is the action th colon action and again in order to avoid this undefined attribute name error or warning what we can do is we can just copy this and we can paste it here okay and action is uh, we can give a, a url like this save employee all right so we'll implement method handler for this bit later again th object this is employee and here we have a method right method is a post okay so we can remove this and this is the action this is basically a time lip tag and you can assign action to hash here all right now let's create a input fields input is type type is text th and this is field look at here the important part syntax first name so here we use star curly braces to refer uh, attribute of the employee object so first name is attribute of employee object right so to access property of employee object we're gonna use syntax like this okay understood 
and let's add a placeholder here let's call it as employee first name and let's add a bootstrap css form control and column 4 okay let me format it okay let me quickly copy this and let's do it for other fields and this is for last name and this is for email okay it's pretty simple and let's also change placeholder employee last name and this is employee email great now let's add a submit button here type submit and then add some bootstrap CSS here and then let's call it as same employee all right great now we will write a method handler to handle this request okay save employee request let me just copy this link again go to the controller that is employee controller and here just type public string save employee okay and let's use add post mapping annotation here post mapping and here we will provide a save employee okay now we need to handle the form data right for that we are going to use add model attribute annotation here so here is the employee so all the form data will be binded to the employee now let's get this employee here employee employee all right now what we'll do we'll save employee to the database save employee to database for that we're going to call employee service and then save employee and here we just re redirect so here we just redirect to the home page here okay so this completes our end-to-end -end add employee feature so let me recap the steps so first we completed the backend part by adding this method save employee method to the employee service and employee service IMPL. next we have added a button here inside a index.html page and then we have added method handler to handle this request that is show new employee form here inside employee controller all right next we have created a new employee time lip template and we have designed this uh, you know time lip template and look at here the form action save employee and we have written a method handler to handle this save employee request inside an employee controller here okay so this is pretty simple flow now what we'll do we'll run the spring boot project so we have already you know the project is already running now what we can do is we can access a link from the browser so in a browser just uh, refresh it and click on add employee oops we got some error here new employee dot html so look at here on the exception the exception is we need we have given an invalid expression for time leap uh, directive okay so look at here in our object attribute we have given a value like this this is not a valid expression we need to provide syntax like this okay save it 
and again refresh now you can able to you know get the add new employee page all right so here just type first name uh, Ramesh and last name for the day and email Ramesh at the gmail.com hit save employee button great so look at here new user is added let me add one more employee let's call it as admin 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 at the gmail.com hit save employee button so look at here admin employee is added to the list all right so this is how we have you know implemented end-to-end -end add new employee feature that's great right i hope you understood the flow in next part we will see how to implement update employee feature okay great i will see you in the next part